Namaste. I first like to thank all of you who responded to my mail, sent me responses, sent me questions related to the engineering uh, sector. I'm very, very happy that uh, you're showing a lot of interest in what you want to do. This video is primarily to let you know what is going to happen tomorrow and what are we going to focus on and how you can join the call. Firstly, one of the things that I made it very clear in the previous video was that we would be focusing on computer science and information science as the preferred branches of our discussion tomorrow. Engineering per se is a very big field in itself. It's very difficult to cover all the branches in one single call. So what we will do, our focus for tomorrow will be on computer science and information science engineering. Of course, with time in due course, we will get the experts from the various other fields as well. Now coming to computer science and information science, what are the reasons why somebody should take up computer science and information science? What kind of jobs that people who take up CS and IS land up into? What is meant by a product related job? What's meant by a service related job? What is uh, the favorable course that you need to take? Is there any favorable college that you need to uh, study from? Is there a difference in uh, studying engineering in a normal university or does it make a difference if you study from the IITs or the NITs? Is there any difference in the course curriculum in IITs, NITs or any other colleges or universities? Or does autonomy make a huge difference in the way students study engineering? These are some of the questions that we will be trying to answer with our expert tomorrow. We will also focus on some of the questions that you have asked me. Uh, although I am uh, uh, letting you know on this call, I will be reaching out to all of you who have asked me questions, uh, whether it was related to engineering or something else. But one of the things that struck me uh, uh, when I looked at all the responses is children in the age group of 17 to 19 really are struggling with what questions to ask. The basic question, which college should I join? Which course should I opt? These questions are predominant in your minds. There's nothing wrong in asking these questions because you need to ask these questions now and not sometime later. So keep all your questions coming. I'll be sharing the uh, Google form uh, link once again through this video in the description. Uh, you can uh, share your questions, uh, whether it is relevant to computer science or not, that's all right. But I'll be happy to ask computer science related questions, information science related questions with our guests tomorrow. Of course, we will focus on the other questions too post our call. Who's going to speak to us tomorrow? I will not be talking about this uh, individual with respect to his name today. I'll only give you his background. He's someone who's worked in both service uh, uh, related companies and product development companies uh, as well. He's worked with uh, com the renowned companies like Adobe, uh, Microsoft and currently is working on something really interesting. So this person will give us a brief insight into the various options available. Uh, he will be unmasking computer science and information science to a layman in, tomorrow, in tomorrow's session. One more thing I would like to focus on tomorrow in my video is talk about drivers. Now what do I mean by drivers? Now what drives somebody to take up a particular profession? What should a person look at in order to arrive at a particular course or arrive at a particular uh, uh, career option. This is something that I will be focusing on tomorrow. Until tomorrow, stay home, stay safe, prevention is better than cure. Thank you.